um, for a uh, for a table or for a single column. Uh, now, one thing to warn you about is uh, if you are using select trigger, please check the uh, limitations with respect to select triggers in the IDS documentation. Uh, it's supported as documented in IDS version 11, but you need to be aware of all the limitations that uh, select triggers uh, go with. Okay, so, so this is the uh, new announcements with respect to number of uh, triggers that you can create for a table. This helps when you have multiple modules working on the same uh, set of ta tables. So each module can write their own uh, trigger logic or the application logic uh, encoded in terms of triggers. So not only we have uh, relax the restriction of number of uh, triggers on a table, we have made it easier for you to write uh, uh, triggers and application logic. So that comes in the next slide. Uh, so if you see the procedure PROC1 here, you see a new syntax here, referencing old as O, new as N for tab 1. What this uh, uh, means is this procedure is written for this table tab 1 and this procedure will be invoked from a for each row trigger of procedure 1. So I'll show you how this is invoked in a moment. Uh, so uh, basically the referencing old as o, new as new, n works similar to uh, the referencing clause in the create trigger statement. And uh, in IDS version 11, we have additional four uh, functions, inserting, updating, deleting, and selecting when a procedure such as PROC1 is invoked from a trigger action statement each of the triggers have to be invoked either from, from one of these uh, DML statements insert, update, delete or select so one of the when you can call these functions to check which action uh, did, did call this uh, procedure PROC1. Uh, so th these uh, functions will return true or false depending on which uh, was the DML that resulted in the invocation of this procedure. So the third interesting thing uh, in this procedure is if you see the equation n dot call 1 equals n dot call 1 plus 1 uh, here we are referring to the new value directly within the procedure. The dereferencing happens via the referencing clause in the procedure 1. So this is pretty much similar to how you would uh, refer to the trigger correlated variables within your uh, trigger action statement of a for each row action block. So in here, we are not only referring to the trigger correlated variable, but we are assigning a new value to the uh, n dot call one. That means column one of the uh, tab one. So uh, depending on uh, which uh, DML you have issued, insert obviously has new values, update has both old and new values, and delete and uh, select has old values. So you can refer to them, and uh, in case of uh, inserting or uh, updating, you can even modify the new values. So this, uh, using this you can bring a lot of your trigger logic into the proce short procedure and then you can simply invoke the short procedure by saying execute procedure foo. Let's uh, see that example uh, in the next slide. So this trigger uh, INS trig tab 1 is an insert trigger and uh, for each row you simply execute the procedure 1 and you see a new syntax here or with trigger references what this means is PROC1 has, the, has been defined with the referencing clause and uh, the moment you have a referencing clause with the procedure 
it can only be invoked from the for each row action block of a trigger and when you invoke it to make sure uh, the developers who are reading this uh, code understand that the values within the uh, row the values that you are inserting updated reading could be modified or accessed within this procedure one we have added uh, new modifiers to this procedure one with trigger references uh, wi without using this uh, with trigger references uh, clause you will get an error if you simply try to invoke uh, invoke the procedure proc1 uh, using execute procedure proc1 or if you try to execute the procedure outside of the uh, trigger domain okay so th that was the uh, section on uh, improvements to IDS uh, SQL uh, language and some other infrastructure itself so let's look at the optimizer enhancements in uh, IDS version 11 we have added a new access method called index self join access method we have enabled usage of optimizer directives for ANSI join queries we have improved the IDS statistics collection we have enhanced the content of explain file in IDS which prints out the query plans and we have uh, made improvements to the usability of dynamic explain as well and there are some additional Im improvements in IDS version 11 uh, regarding subquery flattening and view folding uh, these have been explained in IDS version 10 red book because these were done uh, during the fix pack after the IDS version uh, 10 release so I won't go into details about that in this talk First, let's, let's look at the improvements to IDS statistics collection. First thing is, whenever you create an index in IDS, we automatically collect distribution on the leading key of the index. The most expensive operation in the create collection or creation of distribution on any set of data is the is sorting of the data because we sort the data to create the index based on the leading key of the index anyway we make use of that sorted data and create the dis distribution for the leading key we have had to change certain things uh, it's an internal algorithms to support create index online and uh, uh, creation of indices on fragmented tables but those are all internal details but basically we sub we create distribution uh, equivalent of uh, pretty much equivalent of high statistics on the leading key of the index we you no longer need to run update statistics low after you create the index for the optimizer to consider the new index for its subsequent optimization so the moment you create the index the optimizer will start using the uh, index for its subsequent optimization one of the side effects of this uh, feature is if you already have a prepared statement those statements will be invalidated that those that means those statements will have to be reprepared uh, to ex uh, before you can execute because you have a new index and uh, you 